Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCGB desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important CMS, a very important software of CCGB industry named as Super Live Pro for PC. In this video, we are going to describe you what is Super Live Pro for PC, what are its feature, what are its characteristics and after that we will tell you minimum minimum system requirement of that software and after that we will tell you that how you get the file how you install the file and how you configure the file how you configure the software so that camera comes live so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start what is super live pro for pc Super Live Pro for PC is a software connecting the CCTV cameras on the PC. Super Live Pro software is mainly used for monitoring the TVT CCTV cameras on the PC. Do if you have a TVT and its OEM camera system and you want to run on the PC, this software allows you to connect your CCTV cameras and PC together. And it is also used for managing and maintaining the TVT cam CCB cameras system using using the PC. If we are talking about its feature, then you are first thing you are you, you can do you can make the camera live multiple locations camera live on your screen. Maintain the multiple channel of monitoring and playback of maximum 16 camera windows. Real time playback pen preview. Its, its playback support quick, slow, and by frame modes. Support local snapshot and recording. Correspondence, corresponding files are stored locally. It provides PDZ control by slide on the touch screen. Meaning you can pan it and zoom. It supports memory of previous channel used last time. It supports color at setting and streaming parameter adjustment. It supports alarm push. It supports e-map function to show cameras on electronic map of the household or area. Now if we are talking about its minimum system requirement then I think that you should minimum you should have a minimum i5 processor and or its equivalent processor if you're talking about the ram then you should have at least 4 gb of ram and if you're talking about hard disk space then you should have a 500 gb 500 mb file free on your hard disk because if you if we want to connect if you want to record the things you see in, in your live review so it can record in the system also so that's why you have 500 GB of at least hard disk now we move to video to our practical parts means how you get the file how you install them and how you configure them to make the camera live so keep watching <laughs> 